Friends and colleagues, greetings. I trust that this finds you and your families safe and well, wherever you are in the Commonwealth or indeed across the world. 2020 has been an interesting year and it's taught us many things, but one of the things it's taught me is to expect the unexpected. And it looks as though it's going to be true all the way through to the very end of this year uh, with the, the most recent change in the mutation and the, and the strain of the virus and the impact that that's having in, uh, in so many lives around the world. The end of year is a, a time for us to pause and to reflect. And I'd prepared this message and I got a, a short video clip that featured a little boy and it was a message to his dad. And it was all about a snorkel, actually. And I, I want to share with you at the end something about that message, but it's certainly helped me to recraft and reshape some of the things that I thought um, to share with you in this message today. COVID has put the spotlight firmly on the things that matter. Our family, our friends, our community, and our planet. The critical thing within all of that is us, its leaders. It's how we behave and the decisions that we make and the things that we do to make a difference in the lives of so many other people. One of the big lessons for me from COVID has been the ability to invest in ourselves, to be, to find ways to be the best version of ourselves. And I'm really proud that CSC Global Alumni offers that opportunity. The CSC Global Alumni provides us with a really unique opportunity and that is to collaborate with one another and people from all across the Commonwealth. Lots of different ideas and thoughts. And this has been a wonderful, wonderful year in the life of the CSC Global Alumni. We were able to very quickly pivot and change direction into the digital space when we realised that we weren't going to be able to physically come together. That's provided further opportunities to engage with one another. We have our Reconnect series where we're bringing together people from, from various year groups, people that haven't maybe seen each other for, for many, many years to reignite the, the passion within them and to restart those conversations. We've provided space in our Connect series for people to be able to start new conversations with people from all different years and all different parts of the Commonwealth. These are really unique and engaging uh, opportunities. We established the Leadership Series, which takes a, a, a look in and so gains some insights into the work of various leaders across the Commonwealth. And we've had the opportunity to support the work of the broader CSC family, the Canadians as they're planning for their conference next year, and the UK trustees as they reinvigorate and reimagine their, their organisation. And of course, we've continued to build plans for our very own conference, the CSC Global Alumni Conference, which will see the opportunity for alumni from every program, from all around the world and the Commonwealth, to come together to have wonderful dialogue, critical conversations, and to establish meaningful relationships. It's on the agenda, we don't know when, but it's on the agenda, and we're looking forward to announcing a date shortly. Several weeks ago, your board met. And we met to, to look at strategy, we looked at some of the work that had been done, but of course we're, we're forward planning. And one of the things that we realised was that, that we've, we've increased our level of engagement and our aspiration in 2021 is to take it to another level. But it needs you. You're the missing link there. We're certainly stronger together and we need your energy, we need your passion, we need your commitment, we need your enthusiasm. And, and we're, we will all be better when we can share those things with one another. In February of 2021, the board will meet for our annual general meeting and at that meeting there'll be an opportunity to look at the structure of the board and our committees. A number of our board members, there's a, a general election, our number of our, our board members have indicated that they wish to continue to serve on the board and that's vitally important and I celebrate that. That level of continuity will see the work that has begun continue but your involvement will see that continued work take, taken to the next level. And so over the coming weeks, you'll receive some communication from my colleagues on the board, inviting you to consider how you might re-engage or, or even engage uh, with CSC Global Alumni through the work of our committees and considering how you might be able to assist the board in their work. I encourage you to reflect carefully on those messages and to reach out. I want to return to the beginning of this, this message and I told you about a little boy. 
and that little boy had a snorkel and the, the, the video that I received was this little boy snorkeling around in his pool and and he, he says daddy I, I'm snorkeling here because I'm practicing because I want to be able to come and snorkel with you. His dad's on the other side of the world. They haven't seen each other physically to hold one another for a, a, an entire year. That little boy is my boy. I'm his dad. That message was a transformative message for me because what it indicated was how important hope is. And as I reflected on this message, I reflect on the fact that one of the, one of the central things that a leader does is to inspire hope. And so as you head into this, this next year, I'm sure that you, like myself, my colleagues, and the rest of the alumni will be working through how we can continue to be the best version of ourselves and to be those people that inspire hope in others, whether that be in our family, our, with our friends, or in our communities and our vocational lives. On behalf of the board, can I extend to you Season's greetings, and on behalf of my family, can I extend to you our wish for you to know peace, love, and joy at this time of the year. May you be able to find that even in the most challenging of circumstances. Thank you and take care.